ladies from across the world. Getting kids exposed to data science at a young age is easier than ever before through some video games and online games, says reports. It means soon parents will start asking kids to try out some games and even download it for them. Well, that's a good problem to have, isn't it? Coding games to data games. There are plenty of options. Even the learning platforms these days are designed to give you playing games like experience. Well, next time, you're going to have to get parents on your side. Our correspondent in India shared a story about a policy change in education. k and is not aware of the complete details of the change to talk about it. If you're interested to know more, ask your parents to help. Or reporters from Asia are telling us that they spotted fireflies during the summer. There are about 2,000 firefly species. These insects live in a variety of warm environments, as well as in more temperate regions. Fireflies love water and often live in human regions of Asia and the Americas. In drier areas, they are found around damp areas that retain water. Fireflies have dedicated light organs that are located under their abdomen. The insects take in oxygen and, inside special cells, combine it with a substance called luciferin to produce light with almost no heat. Wow, is there a way to recreate that to light bulbs? We have our reporter, Carol, from Toronto. Over to Carol. Thanks, Joe. Golf is a club and ball sport in which players use various clubs to hit balls into a series of holes on a course in as few strokes as possible. In the first major tournament since the pandemic stalled the sports world, the title went to a magnetic 23-year-old who turned pro just last year. During Sunday's final round of PGA Championship, the highly talented and emerging star Colin Moriwaka delivered it as powerfully as any punch ever thrown by former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. He became the third youngest winner of the PGA Championship. Reporting Curl for Kids News to Mark on Toronto. Thanks, Carol. By the way, I got my at-home haircut yesterday. Haircut trials seem to be taking lo longer than the COVID-19 vaccine trials. <laughs> on to weather now. Do you know that there are websites that help you Keep track of weather across the world? EldoradoWeather.com is one such website. Here's an update on the extreme weather across the world based on their website. On August 10th, highest temperature in the world was recorded at Herat, Afghanistan at 52.7 degrees Celsius. Lowest temperature was at Vostok, Antarctica at minus 76.9 degrees Celsius. Highest rainfall was recorded at Honobar, India at 330 millimeters. Report shows that southern India is experiencing severe rainfall over the past few weeks. Do you know which is the wettest place on earth is? By annual rainfall? It's Masinran, Makabaya, India. It receives an annual rainfall of 11,000 millimeters. December and January are the driest month in Mawson Run, when the rainfall can trickle down to around 60 millimeters. I can't imagine putting up with that amount of rain. That's all for today. Thank you. Stay safe and have fun.